What's good, YouTube? It's Vex Reaction. I'm back with another reaction video, and today we got Ghetto Allergy. Before we get into the video, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to join that Vex Live. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay. I'm head of Instagram. Mmm. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Is she pushing back against the the societal norms right now? <laughs> she says she a hater of Instagram. She a hater of Instagram, a hater of TikTok. She ain't got all of the followers. Where are we headed? Let's see. The vocal sound pretty nice too. Okay, all right, we needed this though, we needed this. I feel like she touching on a subject that I didn't think nobody was gonna touch on, but it was definitely needed, you know what I'm saying? Like, even I fall victim to this, it feel like we really in a rat race right now. And I know a lot of other people gonna feel this when I say this, it feel like we in a rat race. We looking at everybody else around us and everybody else around us making it feel without even saying that we behind. It feel like we behind because everybody else pushing this narrative on social media and we only see the highlights, never the lowlights. You know what I'm saying? We never see the struggles in people's life, but we see the good. So now we feel like, oh, we got to match them. Be yourself and go at your pace. You got to realize that this thing is your life, bro. Like, I, I feel like I have said this a couple of times in videos, but really, really, really understand that this is your life, bro. And at the end of the day, Whenever you get to the end of your life, you're going to have to look at yourself and be like, did I do what I needed to do? Was I happy with the life that I lived? And if you say yes or no, it's going to be dependent on you. Nobody else could answer that. See, everybody else could tell you what they think you should do with your life, what direction you should be going and what's going to make you happy. But at the end of life, whenever you start fading away out of this lifetime, you're going to have to confront yourself and say, was I happy with the life that I lived? With the decisions that I made, with the people that I met, with the love that I gave out. Come on. No, don't hate yourself, though. No. And the thing is, also, I want y'all to understand that it's okay to feel like this, but you can't be content with this. That's the difference. It's okay to feel these things, to feel like you're not enough, to feel like you're not the prettiest, sexiest, like you ain't got everything, but don't be content and don't feel bad for yourself too long. Because while you're doing all of that, you could have been fixing it. Okay, I'm not the, the prettiest, but what can I do to improve my looks? You know what I'm saying? That's going to start making some benefit. And then when you start seeing people look at you a little bit different, now you're like, okay, I'm, I'm stepping in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got everything. And a lot of the times, the stuff that other people got, we don't even need. We, it wouldn't even make us happy. We just feel like it would make us happy because it's making everybody else happy. But you're an individual, so you're going to have to remember that what makes them happy not, might not make you happy. But you can't be too scared to do what makes you happy because it's not making everybody else happy. You got to be happy with what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The video beautiful too? Dang. 
Dang. Hey, she low-key spitting on somebody's feelings right now. Somebody out there watching this or who watched the music video, they feeling that. Because they just want to be like for themselves. They don't want to have to put on this imaginary character that's lovable by people. They want to be able to put they self on, put the mask that actually look like them and go out and be loved and appreciated. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to have to have a perfect personality and be funny. And like some people just want to, be their raw, authentic self and be accepted. And I understand that. You deserve that. But one thing that I will tell you and one thing that I'm going to challenge is how are you going to ever feel appreciated, loved, and all of that stuff if you never show your real self? If you're too scared to show your real self, how are you ever going to experience that? Because nobody got the opportunity to start loving that version of you. Nobody got the opportunity to even appreciate or see that version of you because you started off from the jump calculating you trying your best to please people instead of trying to be yourself so they can't even fall into, you can't even attract the type of people who would want to love you, who would want to like you. So maybe you might have to switch it up so that you can attract and find those people in your life. Oh my, oh my. I like these scenes, these little frozen scenes, the little pans. The little joints, hey, you know what I'm talking about with the paper or the little paper airplanes? Life was so simple when, the, when that's what you was trying to do. <laughs> the little fortune tellers, yeah. <laughs> Staff only. Take a deep breath. Oh, she about to get surgery? You'll slowly fall asleep. And when you wake up, you will be a queen. Queen card? Call me feeling water, you can take me anywhere but here. Don't know it's fake, but let me tell you every time I look into this mirror. How do you love me, love me? I've been getting too high to run. Mm -hmm, let's go, let's go. 